Hey everyone, uh, my name is Logan. Uh, you may know me as Ignorance on Xbox Live. I'm here to. I woke up this morning and I really wanted to do a commentary on a flag gameplay that we had on Simplex. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this started for us here in a second. But I just wanted to say, if you've seen my montages, thank you a lot. I appreciate it. I love doing them and they're a blast to do. I'm currently working on another one uh, for myself and for someone else. And if you want a montage, let me know. I would love to work with you. And second of all, I'm sorry if I look a little pasty. Uh, you know, it's summertime, but I work inside. And there's a window right next to me that has sunlight coming in. So if, if I look white, just, you know, deal with it. I'm sorry. I am white. I'm very white. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and get this started for us. And we're going to see what go, what's going on. The Our main mission in this one was they knew some people in the game. So they decided that they wanted to get as many uh, fly caps as fast as they can. Um, these are some guys that I don't really play with, but they're they're a blast to play with. I love playing with them. You'll see Roy the Robot and a few others. I'm not sure. Yeah, Bullet Flu and Lota I'm playing with right now. Uh, we're playing against V for Visuals, My Tails, Outlaw Pones, and Vasilion. So my main mission in this first one was not to go for Overshield, surprisingly. It, I'm going to go ahead and go for Purple Control on this map, because for Simplex, Purple is the main side. You really really want purple control it, you're gonna be able to look top mid you're gonna be able to look everywhere actually you're gonna be able to dictate spawns easily and you're gonna be able to jump over for that overshield when it comes time so I'm gonna try and get this first purple control which, which I am able to with the help of one of my teammates here and we're gonna go ahead and look at here we're gonna be running this flag now so now my my mission changes from changing purple to switching over to escorting this flag carry as you can see the 3 for 3 was so nice to remind us to escort that flag you know so my main mission here is to escort this flag so I'm gonna watch his back make sure no one comes from purple to get him so all we really had to worry about is gold side but now now that we have that flag they're gonna start pushing purple side because they want this they see what we're doing on this side and they want it so they're gonna push really hard and yeah they kill me because I'm not very good uh, straight happily is on cool um, so Ray's gonna try and maintain this purple side, but he's gonna push in their base for another, yeah, another flagpole, because we see that three of them were down there. I know you didn't see it there, but there were, trust me. Uh, and now that he's down, I'm gonna pull this flag, and I am one shot here, and there is a guy up here, which is not the smartest of me to challenge this, but I see he's looking at my teammate, which is gonna open it up for me to challenge him, and he was one shot. My teammate called that out, otherwise, you know, I would have been a little more hesitant, and I would have pushed bottom goal there to try and stay alive more. Now here, I'm one shot again. <laughs> Go figure. But I see my teammates right behind me. Ray there. He's he's going to pull push that flag in even if I die. So I know that if I die there one shot, it's okay. Because he's going to be able to put that in right away. Unfortunately, there was a guy behind him to clean him up too. We didn't really see that, but that's okay. We have two flag caps. We have our side control, which is another really big thing for Simplex. You want to make sure that you have every every person of their team off of your side first before you push up. That's one of the biggest things that people don't think about and throw down is they just they really just rush straight for the flag. And we were trying to do that this game, but we're only able to do that because we know we have everyone off of our side. So you really want to make sure you get people off your side. You get you get people off your side. You get purple control, and that's going to allow you to open the game up. Get it. You're going to set the pace for the game. You're going to be able to get overshield. You're going to be able to dictate spawns. You're going to be able to get flag pulls. You're going to be able to put shots on everyone, which really is the reason that we won this game, because we had such great control. Now, we have three down here, uh, so that our flag carrier is going to pull this purple side. We know three are down. They're probably going to spawn gold. Unfortunately, I was over there. I got kind of caught in a bad spot, uh, but I am going to be able to clean up that guy off gold, and they're going to spawn usually in the back of their base here or at purple side yeah so we're gonna see him run out from bottom and push bottom now Alex over there at purple by himself I have one of our teammates is back at red purple I think and the other ones Roy's at bottom blue so I should have let Roy clean that kill up but I got a little greedy with my assist there and I should have let him clean that up and I should have came over to help Alec unfortunately I mean fortunately Alec had someone on our team there with him to help him clean that guy up which is really nice so we have this flagpole and they have a flagpole too actually we get him down, and we're going to be able to control this purple side again. You see, you saw one guy at purple, I'm in their base, and another person's running the flag. So we have we have that whole side set up, so we're going to push them over to gold. So I'm going to pull this, and they are going to spawn at gold here. I wasn't thinking, 
Uh, I pull that straight to gold, thinking maybe I could challenge them because they'd get hopefully get a split spawn. We could get one of them not to look at me and look at one of our teammates, but two of them were looking at me, which is not really a good thing. I should have what I should have done there when I saw them uh, spot at gold is immediately turn around and take that straight to purple because we had that side control controlled. So that's what I should have done. That was a bad play on my part. However, uh, we are able to come back to our side, clean them off. They do get overshield there, but we are able to get that off of him really fast because there were three of us looking at him, which is when you when overshield's up, even if you can't get to it, you want to look at it and make sure you can get that get that overshield off the map as fast as you can when their team has it. I get a little bit of spawn nade there. I don't know really where that came from. Now this guy here at gold spawns there. That's a nice plan by that flag carrier there to come out and help me. He knows he's not looking at him, so he can push straight out for him. When you have that flag, it, now that you have the pistol in hand, you really can push up and help your teammates, which is a very smart play by him to do there. And he's going to be able to run this flag in straight to our side for the fifth cap. So we had five five caps in just about five minutes. Uh, that was that was a really quick game. It was really fun to play. I love playing with those guys. And they had really great teamwork. Um, I didn't really do a whole lot that game, but Roy kind of went off. Got a little happy on the X button there. So I'm going to end this for us today. First of all, thank you for watching. Uh, if you like this, let me know. If you didn't like it, also let me know. Let me know what you didn't like. Let me know what you did like so I can keep doing it. And thank you all for watching.